He's been injured this year, so he's only had 16 appearances. He had an Achilles issue. But if the Yankees can get him back to form and have him join Chapman, Batances, Robertson, Holder, Warren, Green, I mean, talk about a powerful pen. And, Bob, what happens in the postseason? You want to shorten game. So if the Yankees can get to the postseason, suddenly you could be bringing in Chad Green in the fourth inning if you wanted to, knowing that you have so much coverage left at the back of the bullpen. So this is the potential setup for some of the arms that they would have out there. Again, if and when this deal is finalized, the Orioles are notorious for going deep on physicals, that kind of thing. You got to make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. So we wait for the official word from the Yankees. But in the meantime, this is also a play in a way to keep him out of the hands of the Astros, isn't it? I'm not sure that was the main intent, but it is effective. You want to make your team better, but if while making your team better, you can inhibit another team from getting better? Absolutely. I believe the Yankees are thinking that way. You see where Britain stacks up on that saves leaderboard. You're right, Bob. So whether it was the Astros, the Red Sox, or a team that the Yankees are competing against that also wanted Britain, suddenly the Yankees have him. He also gives them insurance against Chapman with that knee issue, and maybe Chapman encounters a little struggle. Britain is another guy who can close games for you. I don't think, Bob, this means that the Yankees are done hunting for a starter. I think Brian Cashman in his front office saw that this was a deal they could seize upon right now, a week before the deadline. I don't think they're done. I think they'll still try and add another pitcher to fortify that rotation. All right, and just one other thing. He's made 16 appearances, Britain has this year. I know he was injured, but if he stays injury-free, it's almost like a very fresh arm that you're recharging that bullpen with as well. Yeah, that's a great point. And a guy who's going into his free agent year, so he's going to be motivated. It will be weird for him, I'm sure, as a Baltimore Oriole to slip on those Yankee pinstripes or Yankee road grays if he ends up being in tomorrow's game. But I'm sure he'll also be motivated to help the Yankees. And in terms of what the Yankees gave up, the three players that they gave up, it's obviously highlighted by Dylan Tate. That's the player, the pitcher they acquired when they traded Carlos Beltran to the Texas Rangers. But one thing about this, Bob, Tate, Rogers, and Carroll are all pitchers that the Yankees would have to put on their 40-man roster after this season. And they've got a glut of players that they're trying to add to that 40-man roster. So in some ways, they traded from excess. They traded from pitchers that they could potentially lose down the road anyway. All right, so what we've just talked about, still based on multiple reports that are out there, we await official word from the Yankees if and when this deal is finalized.